are live, which oh, it sounds live now. Is now. It is now. It's working. All righty. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Carcone Carne. My name is Jillian McGee. Um, I'm guest hosting tonight. I'm very excited to have Bad Cop, Bad Cop on the show. Um, but first, <laughs> oh, hi, Matthew. Cute doggo. <laughs> <laughs> we have a word from our sponsors. So as business owners open back up to serve their communities, they're faced with a lot of challenges as they navigate the new normal brought on by the coronavirus. CNH Financial Services is here to help. CNH offers a variety of products that range from traditional merchant accounts to a zero cost payment processing solution, which eliminates the expense associated with accepting Visa, MasterCard, Discover, American Express, all of those as a form of customer payment. To learn more, contact CNH Financial Services at 855-600-2437 or visit chfs.us. Capitalism. All right. So... <laughs> My name is Jillian, like I said, um, I, you may know me, I've, James and I were actually uh, co-workers back in my radio days. I learned a lot from him and um, my band, my old band Turn Spit, along with Hi-Ho, my kind of solo project that's turning into a full band project has been on Carcon Carne before. So it's very exciting and fun and full circle to come on and do a, a hosting gig. And I'm super excited that I get to interview some of my favorite ladies, uh, Bad Cop, Bad Cop. So, yay! Yay! <laughs> Um, so I'll have each of you introduce yourself, say what you do in the band. And then, yeah, if you're, um, if you're drinking a fun beverage or if you've got a little spread or something, you can talk about that. <laughs> um, we, goes first. I'll, I'll go, I'll go. Um, I'm Jenny. I play guitar and I sing. Um, I am drinking a Corona because... <laughs> Um, because it's on sale everywhere. Um, and then I also am eating a cupcake that I made because it was my, I'm visiting my family and you can judge me if you want to, but it was like everyone's birthday. So this was, yeah. I made cupcakes and a cake so people could blow out candles without spitting all over the cake. Infecting everyone. Yeah. So <laughs> this is a That's leftover. Smart. Rainbow cupcake. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll go. I'm Stacy. I'm drinking a Modelo. Uh, I'm hanging out with the chickens and Matthew. I don't have a, I don't have a snack. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm Lynn. I play bass and sing. I am drinking a White Claw Mosa. Hell oh, yeah. Disappearing into the depths Matthew. of the bar. I'm going to change this. Hang on a second. Move to the <laughs> White Claw <laughs> bar. <laughs> All right. I'm back at home now. <laughs> that was fast yeah that was a quick drive home um yeah. so yeah i'm drinking a raspberry white claw with some grapefruit juice Ooh. and i'm eating tortilla chips and salsa beautiful hey. all right <laughs> all right, <laughs> right. last night over here <laughs> Nice. I'm drinking a pineapple truly. Oh. It's truly delicious. Ooh. <laughs> truly more, outrageous. More messages yeah. from our sponsors. Yeah. I know. And I'm not eating <laughs> and I'm not eating a snack now. I ate one earlier. So I'm eating uh the earlier. Starburst, the Starburst gummy bursts. They're really fucking oh. good, guys. You're anyway. like Ooh. tropical as fuck. My god. Yeah, they're liquid filled gummies. So if you have oh. explosion, like so, on. Anyways. that's fun. Yeah. So, and I play drums. I'm sorry. I play drums yeah. in the band. <laughs> I forgot. I play guitar and sing. Well, oops, I left that out. <laughs> yeah. I hit things. So, yeah, I hit things. So, anyways. Awesome. Okay. So, thank you for all being here. Um, yeah. I want to first say that I love you all. Second of all, um, the Likewise. new record that you just put out, The Ride. 
I want to spend a little time talking about that. Um, as someone who knows you guys, I was so proud and excited. And I thought that the songwriting was just so elevated. It was it wasn't just a traditional like hard and fast punk record, which especially being on Fat Wreck as a label, you know, I think you guys are really pushing um, what it means to be on that label, which is awesome in a lot of ways. And uh, yeah, it was a bunch of different sounds. Um, the dynamics were really, really good. I thought the songs were able to like stay interesting. And you had a ton of songs that were super short because like you didn't feel the need to drag them out for four minutes, you know, <laughs> and uh, trimming the fat a little bit, you know. So um, I don't know. I love it. And I think the themes that are explored are really awesome. But I want to let you guys talk a little bit more about that. Um, so as like a general like framework question, um, what do you think sets the ride apart from the rest of your catalog? And Jenny, you can start if you want, or whoever's ready. Um, well, we did everything differently, um, pretty much. We, we took a really long time and, and we didn't, it wasn't like a concentrated, uh, really, it's, at times it felt unfocused, but it wasn't. Um, it, we took over a year to work on this and, uh, you know, we really had a lot of conversations about what we're saying and what we want to say and what is worth putting into this next like capsule that we're going to release into the world. And like, so there was a lot of like introspection and consideration and we worked with a different, um, we worked with Fat Mike and Johnny from Johnny Carey, um, the decomposers, we were like really closely. They, it's their record, I think, almost as much as it is ours. And um, we did, I know I was uh, fighting to, I was like, I want to make different songs that are not, that are not so um, expected as far as like formula, timing, beats per minute. Um, and I just, I feel like we, I felt heard this time on that. And, and I agree, like we should have waited probably until this album to do weirder stuff because we did need to establish who we are and what we sound like before now. And yeah, pass. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we uh, spent, Jenny and I spent nights over at Johnny's place and <laughs> woke up in the morning and kept working and um, we all worked really hard on it together, too. I mean, um, from all of it. I, I, when we were listening to different things, too, Jenny and guys, weren't we? We were listening to, like, a lot of Fleetwood Mac at the time. <laughs> we were listening to, like, we wanted Didn't to hear do that. Stuff. Yeah. And, yeah, and, and with uh, Vagabonnies had some, like, some spill off, too. Getting to be a little freer, let us be freer. We didn't want to just make the same record again. We wanted to grow and we wanted to write better songs. I think that we wanted good songs, you know, that we were that we worked on and we were really proud of, you know, not that the rest of the albums we made weren't that way. It was just it's just completely different um, and getting to take our time and getting to uh, really flush the songs out lyrically, you know, like even at the last minute, getting to change one line in a song, you know, instead of being stuck with it. It's like we got to make that fucking that that record people make in the seventies. You know what I mean? Like that we, we really are in it. You know, it wasn't like fast and cookie cutter. It was <laughs> fast. Yeah. Fast and fuck. yeah, we took our time with it this time, this round. So compared to our other albums, we kind of like I think we rushed the process a little bit more. So this time we had a little more time to keep working on each individual song and, and until it was right yeah until, until it was right, right basically like um, even at the um, end yeah. there fat mike was like sorry guys we need a couple more days uh I, these harmonies can be better and they're going to be better they have to be so we you know yeah. we got the to even fix that which you know a lot of people don't get to do so no and we didn't get to do that on our last album so um 
you know, once we did stuff, we were kind of like, okay, that's it. Like we, we don't want to keep working and tweaking on these, but it was a little bit different on this one where we did have the opportunity to do that a lot more than ever. So yeah, we did though, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was nice to be, it was like refreshing to be able to like do this at a pace where it didn't seem rushed, you know? Right. Like it wasn't like Warriors was a bad album or anything like that, no. but this album, so defining much, more. yeah, this was so much more. Um, I think everybody put like put, I mean, we put everything into all of our products, of course, but it's it was just a we were able to branch off into uh, like on a different road, <laughs> on a different ride. <laughs> we were ride. Um, it was nice. It was nice to be able to like, okay, keep working at it until we were absolutely satisfied with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It sounds like you just got to be a little bit more intentional and mindful uh, mm -hmm. with everything, which is awesome. Yeah. yeah. The songs too, Johnny, like let us do what we needed to do, you know, kind of let us do what we wanted to do and let us in a really good direction, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's awesome. I feel like too, um, and just like as a musician, Myra in particular, I thought the drums like throughout are so interesting. Like every decision felt really conscious, um, you know, cause I think also, cause I don't play, you know, the drums at all. I was like, oh, okay. This made it a little bit different than the time that this happened. You know, there was a lot of that happening throughout yeah. all the instruments, but I thought the drums like really did a cool, thing creating like a different sound to to this record than the other ones you know yeah, for sure. kind of keeping time and like keeping the energy up it was like lots of like ebbing and flowing lots of dynamics so there's lots mm -hmm. of different stuff going on so that's what made these songs a lot more interesting because there was there's a lot it's not just basic it's like so much stuff is going on in this song which is great which was which I think makes the song even better and it brings it out even more because mm -hmm. um, if we didn't do that or you know that didn't happen then it would probably not be so good or interesting in my opinion but I, I, dynamics I, are sure there <laughs> yeah. wow even the guitar work is completely different yeah. and more dynamic a than lot anything. of stuff's different a lot of yeah. stuff everything's this. different like the changes are different so if, if, if it's one way in the for it in the first verse in the second verse it's not the same way again right. i mean mm -hmm. like nothing got stale in in the um in in the song yeah there was before what i one thing i was like ah no that that happens on some of our earlier recordings is like i don't know what the correct term for me for what this is but like in my i consider it like a copy paste this is not to like talk shit on anything that we've done before we're we've always been really proud of what we've done and really, I think for me, surprised at what we've been able to do because none of us, I think, well, I never was like, of course, I'm in this band and we are going to take this much time. And of course we, you know, it's just, it's all been very surprising and everything that we've done has pushed us farther than I thought we were at the time before, but um, there was no like copy and paste, like even a chorus is not the same ever in yes. and the backing vocals are like yeah they change yeah. every time which like I just really love it even if nobody gets it knows yeah it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like yeah. you can yeah. feel that it's been like mm -hmm. a little bit more complicated than what what you know we were used to doing and what people are often used to hearing so I love that yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it sounds more um, mature and grown up. Like you could say, like yeah. we've we've gone down this musical path where it's like, okay, we've we've done this, done that, and now we're here. And I think we what we've done shows how much maturity and growth there is on this album, in my opinion. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> we're adults now. Yeah. <laughs> grown up. So we grew up. <laughs> That's awesome. Also, if you see me like doing one of these, my cat is playing fetch with me with her mouse toy. So that's what's happening. Like looking down at her. So I do apologize if I keep doing this because 
My cat. Yeah. <laughs> it just from my screen, it looks like you're looking at Jenny. So it's like, hi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, does any if and if this is like, <laughs> I was gonna start the interview and be like. So I know this is something like, I just feel like I need to ask you guys and you probably don't get it a lot, but I just have to ask you, what's it like being a girl in a band? Um, and I, oh, I, I, know. I opted not to. <laughs> um, Jillian, have you ever done an interview where they didn't ask that? Um, mm, mm, you know, it's been a while. I think you have to think I've about been. it. It's very, that happens. <laughs> yeah, I also. I think you have to think about it. Being in, I think being in journalism, I, for many years or for a number of years, it was like, I was primed to just know that that was a thing that was going to happen. I don't know. It, and it, I, I just thought it would be a funny way to pretend to start. The <laughs> you know, yeah, you I mean, know that's like being a girl, period. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I would, I feel like anytime that was asked of me, I just used it as an opportunity to like, illustrate why you know <laughs> what it, you know it's important to also not just ask that question <laughs> um yeah. no but what i was gonna say um if there's if you guys feel comfortable maybe picking one song that like you didn't write so jenny if you sing it don't pick your own kind of situation <laughs> if that works um that you particularly are proud of or like maybe I have at least on my records like favorite moments on an on an album where it's like the backing vocals are like just perfect or like this guitar part makes me scream and like throw my hands in the air kind of thing um so if each of you would go through and maybe like if you have something like that or even you know lyrically I don't know if I could choose one song though yeah <laughs> I gotta you don't have honest. to go through one yeah but if there's like a couple of things like that you want to like quickly yeah. go through and yeah um I would say I'm gonna give you two okay. um <laughs> so I certain kind of monster is like not only amazing but like wow. we get we're getting to like play it together and like that feels so good <laughs> it feels so good to play and sing that together like it's it's obviously like the track is super powerful but like it's like we just the nature of the way that we recorded a lot of times things you know not everyone was just sitting in the room like watching someone track something like right. so it was like it, sometimes it was a surprise and like so definitely playing it all together has been a surprise and that was like so fun and like felt so powerful and there's stuff that Myra is doing. <laughs> yeah, every time. <laughs> every time Myra does something. Her role. Like, <laughs> like, oh, you know, yes, everyone yeah. stops singing and like looks back like, Dude. yeah, I'll lose um, my face in that song because I'll be like, yeah, <laughs> it. so I know, fun. and I'm all over here thinking, did I do something wrong? Like, why are y'all no, like, weird? You're I'm all, you're doing yeah. just fine. Okay. You're just killing it. That's yeah. <laughs> and then, and then I also am going to just, I think simple girl is so, uh, I just think it's a perfect song and Stacy's so tricky. Like it's so, there's all these little tricks in it. And I think that's like a perfect irony in a song about being complicated, <laughs> this kind of simple girl. And like, it's like, um, it's like when you do you ever get really into like jump roping on the playground and like people get into wild shit and you're like I don't even know how I'm doing this but I'm doing it right now like that's <laughs> kind of what that song feels like to play where you're like I don't I don't know I don't know what beat I'm on but, all like, over. I know I do this here and like there's a skip here and like it's just very it's so fun I'm having so much fun so great um I I'll go I I love I love um uh, certain kind of monsters and pursuit a lot they're both super fun to play i'm i get to play some noodly stuff which i usually don't do so that's a lot of fun um but i i also really love take my call i love jenny's yeah. voice on it i think it's just cuts through like a motherfucker and it's so strong and just so catchy as well um so yeah 
right now, those are the ones that I'm having a lot of fun playing. Lynn's songs are always challenging because they're, they have so many parts in them. Um, you know, <laughs> more they, so they, ever now, more, <laughs> yeah, and more, more so ever, but even before, like when you look at support and things like that from our first record, it's like, she was, she had, you know, breakdowns and different tempos and things that were, um, just fun to fucking play live when you're playing these songs for years, you want, you want something a little challenging, you know, um, and her songs have always kind of delivered that and, um, hearing Lynn sing, is also she's stronger than ever and these songs are the strongest songs that she's ever written and I'm, I'm just yeah. really proud of uh, of both of both of them you know because they Jenny and Lynn both both came with really really great stuff this time and sing with me is another song that when when I first heard it I was like oh my god this makes me want to cry because it's so honest and so true and it's like it just calls to the spirit of um of everybody to rise up and be you know speak your truth and live it and sing it with your whole heart like and I, I have goosebumps talking about it now because that's like there's nothing there's not a greater message in the world. Yeah. Lynn, how about you? I will agree. I think your voice as like a songwriter and just like vocally sounds like so strong. Oh, what thank you. <laughs> I mean, well, this is like also the first time I've written about topics that were actually like I can personally relate to. I don't really write songs that come from that necessarily. I like, I'll write how I feel, sure. Mm -hmm. But when I talk, like some, something especially like talking about my family, that's that's difficult to do. Cause I don't, yeah. you know, I didn't experience it, but because of their experience, it is, um, it is, you know, helped me become the person that I am. Yeah. You know, um, but as far as, and thank you for the compliment, I really appreciate it. Um, but I think if you were to ask me my songs to, to choose from, I have to agree with Simple Girl being like, that's a fucking anthem. That song is a goddamn anthem. And it's like, it, it, it I mean, there's just like little parts and it just, it, it, it is a beautiful irony behind it because it's like, you're singing about being a complicated person. And this song has its complications, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, but God damn it, it's so fun. It's so fun. I'm sorry, am I allowed to swear on this? No. Yes. Um, only <laughs> like, yes. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Medium. <laughs> um, and like perpetual motion machine, or as my friend Leslie likes to call it, virtual washing machine. But you're not gonna unhear it no i'm kidding um <laughs> um that song is i love the meaning behind that song too of course like the way that that song was written it was just like you don't have to rely on other people's love if you can learn to like believe in love in yourself that's all you really need right yeah mm -hmm. and it's always you know that that's like a, that's a huge a, another message of self-love that that's you know a super important thing to talk about um and and it's fun as hell to play yeah fun. Fun. Like, <laughs> it's like so i don't know it just it almost yeah it kind of reminds me of like the bass the bass plant part kind of reminds me uh, if i was playing a slower tempoed motorhead huh yeah. it's driving yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. but it's even on art and like getting to do the ah. Uh, i mean that song is so different we've never done a song that, where the guitars do completely different things um which was really exciting to do and perpetual you know like um the, the both guitars are doing something different the whole song which is rad, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That song in particular, because oh, you guys played the record for me when I was in California with the Vagabonnies uh, earlier this year. That was the last <laughs> tour that I got to do. Um, you know, what a lovely thing. But uh, I remember listening to that song and thinking like, Jenny wrote a Queen song. Yeah. Like, how did Jenny write a Queen song? Like, it was really cool. It was so different. Like, not at all what I was expecting, but made sense, you know? It's very, like, yeah, just, like, theatrical and, like, 
crazy and neat. Yeah. <laughs> but Myra, how about you? Right. Yeah. Um, wow. I think they're all great. I'm really certain kind of monster is something I really dig. It's like, it's such a driving song and force. It's like the guitars, the drums, everything on that, the vocals, um, the harmonies on that are sick. It's like, wow, that is a very, very song, very, very great, strong song. Um, I also dig playing um, Perpetual a lot. Um, it's just that it's rock, rock driving yeah. sound on that You'll song. Fire and I like you. Yeah, it's just a banging <laughs> song. It's a great song to rock out to, and um, and it's different. It's something we've never really done. So it's yeah. completely different. And um, the fact that we were able to just do that, it's just going like, whoa, what the what the fuck? What is this? You know? Um, and um, of course, Simple Girl, I'm digging and. Um, there's a lot going on there. And I'm also looking forward to playing like cheese me. Like I think the driving, yeah. the drums on that, the driving, the driving force on that song is pretty awesome how it goes. So can't yeah. wait to play that one soon. So yeah, that one's pretty cool <laughs> as far as the drums go. But yeah, this album has been very challenging. Um, one thing is to record it, but another thing is to learn it and play it live. It's like, oh shit. <laughs> We yeah. got lots of, lots of work and homework to do, you know, um, because they are, they're different. Everything's different. There's a lot of dynamics going on. So mm -hmm. um, I like yeah. that the songs everyone picked are the ones that we've been playing. So that just means like if we, you know, I mean? like really right. sorry, <laughs> playing everything else, we're going to be like, oh shit, this one. Well, like, we haven't played Cheese May yet, but that's too. I was going to, yeah, I'm glad you brought that one up because that is like one of the standouts songs on the record for me it's like and the three yeah. of you all sing on it which is I didn't yeah, realize right. hadn't happened actually but right. I was like oh my god yes um I yeah love I just love it like every single one of them just owned it on their part like everybody win. yes yeah. it's so good it's like, so good yeah I'm yeah. like honestly like when I listen to that song full blast in the car and probably because I do know you guys I was like I'll like sing like Jenny and then like do my like <laughs> and like, em, like embody the Jenny part and then like Lynn comes in a little bit meaner sounding and then Stacy's all I mean it's like yeah. I have this like um entire experience with that song where I'm like yes 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 <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, you know. I want I want to keep it it's okay like you're yeah. like, I'll FaceTime you next we time we need you to see yourself doing that that'd be awesome <laughs> That's how we Julian, yeah. Interpretation. Yeah. Um, cool. Well, I do want to talk about other non-music stuff because it has been like the wildest four months on planet Earth in a while. Um, mm -hmm. You guys were in Europe on your European tour when the pandemic hit. And I won't, I'm sure you guys have had to go over that, but you made it back safely. It was a chaotic 48 hour plus period. Um, so I guess, you know, and like the idea of touring or playing shows, like the way that we live this life that we've kind of set ourselves up to live is, uh, shifting and not available in the ways that we're used to, um, among like literally every other thing that's normal for us. So, yeah. um, I guess, uh, what is like one thing or like a number of connected things that you have learned um maybe about yourself maybe about something else uh but like during this time of like stasis and reflection and uh you know literally having to turn inward well I learned that I could paint Hell I didn't yeah. know I was a painter <laughs> I started painting uh, also, I learned that we needed some time off. We had worked very, very hard the last couple of years um, where we, we didn't really, I mean, everything was just, you know, the middle, being home was just kind of like floated you in between the times that you had to leave. So being home for a while is kind of, uh, I feel like I'm healthier and even, even happier than I've ever been. Um, wow. with some time, with some downtime. I mean, it doesn't mean that I don't want to play and thank God that we're, we're rehearsing and we're at least, you know, playing with each other. It sucks that, you know, we can't play live, but um, 
you know, hopefully that will work itself out. You know, it was so weird. Like when we were leaving to go to Europe, it was like, oh, this thing is in Italy. Fuck, we might not be able to go to Italy, <laughs> you know, and then we get there. And it's oh. like, yeah, Italy's out if you want to go to Switzerland. And then it was like Switzerland's <laughs> also out. But, you know, they'll put a show together for you at the last minute if you if you want. And we're like, yeah, we have to. So it just, you know, it was it was <laughs> it was such an experience that tour, though. They were the yeah. best shows we had, you know, cultivated as a band. Um, you know, we had the biggest turnouts that we ever ha have had. So, you know, to get to see that and, and now, you know, we're the last band, a lot of those European countries saw, you know, in our, in yeah. our genre of music, people are always like writing me and going, you know, the last thing I saw was bad. Cop, bad cop. <laughs> it's like, well, hopefully it'll be the first thing you see too. When we come back. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, none of us had any idea what, the world or what life would be like when this happened so we were all going you know at our pace that we're going for me it, it helped me slow down a lot and then it helped me also take care and tackle things at home and in, in, yeah. in my life that I wasn't able to because we're always yeah we're always gone and we're always busy so it's nice to have a this perpetual little... motion machine exactly <laughs> but a really unhealthy one yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah much yeah definitely been much healthier and better i mean it's just yeah it, it's weird but it it feels good it's not i'm not gonna lie it feels good to actually be home and be here i mean what the hell are we gonna do anyways it's not like we can go anywhere so yeah. And, and so since we are here, it's, we, you know, it's a good time to like catch up with things and work on yourself and do things that you haven't done um, in your life, whether it is cook more or clean more or get organized or, you know, get some stuff done, get, do some stuff around your house or something, you know? So funny. Uh, yeah. I asked the, <laughs> at the beginning of the year, I wrote, on, I wrote on my whiteboard, um, you're working on pa your patience this year. And God, oh, yeah. did the universe <laughs> serve that up to me? Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah mean, that's well, definitely. Really I on <laughs> <laughs> Look at this yeah. Hey. Patience is one of them for sure. That's something definitely that I've, I'm getting better at. Um, <laughs> you have to. Yeah, at the first couple to, yeah. of weeks of COVID, I was like, oh, I hate this. I just hate this. And then, yeah. it, and then I kind of, I just succumbed to it. I had to just be like, okay, whatever. Um, whatever we have to do to get through this, you know? And then I thought that it was going to be, I, I honestly thought by July, it'll be over, <laughs> you know, you in my head. Lot, which was funny. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, yeah. dude, I don't know. <laughs> well, well, we're still in it and um, we're trying, everyone's doing their best. You know what I mean? So the, also what we talked about as a band, like we, especially now that we have this time, um, we've been able to get together and, learn our songs yeah. <laughs> and play them and practice them more than we ever have because we never were able to do that on any of our albums. We always were yeah. playing and going along, you know what I mean? So, oh, we got to, oh, we're going to try to play this one tonight. Okay. Here, you know, and I guess perfect, <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Yeah. Perfected yeah. it as we went along and played and toured because we just didn't have the time to do that ever, you know? Right. And now, yeah, we do. So next year, <laughs> We're going to be playing this record yeah, better should, than ever. Yeah, yeah. All of our songs. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have the whole record down, hopefully, right? You know? So that's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I am really grateful for the chance to have everything slow down um, because it did just feel like this is so crazy. Mm -hmm. I feel sick all the time I'm like late yes. and letting a hundred people down on any given fucking second. You know what I mean? Like every text message is like, Hey, I need this right now. And it's like, I'm not sure everything needs to be delivered absolutely fucking immediately. And is an <laughs> emergency. Like, you know what I mean? Just having people treat everything like an emergency was so exhausting and so unnecessary. All and like the time. Yeah. The yeah, the expectations of like instant everything being ratcheted up and like slingshot forward by like in same day delivery. You know what I mean? Like I was making cookies for people at the time and like people would be like, can I get this in an hour? And it was like, no, it didn't come from a factory. It doesn't already exist. Like 
you know what yeah. I mean? And then they would yell at me and tell me it's like an unacceptable thing. And it was like, I'm sorry, but your cookies are not an emergency. Like what's wrong with you? You know, like yeah. there's never been a cookie emergency. Like, and it's just like, but that's how everyone treated everything. And like, okay. just like demanding so much of other people. I feel like it was like, everybody had so much demanded of them and it was just like shit rolls downhill and mm-hmm. everybody's sick and tired and overworked and like behind on 900 things and I just I'm really just so glad to like have a chance to be home yeah and like, see my dog and actually exercise like as much as you're supposed to and like <laughs> follow through on things that I it was like oh I know whenever I have time to actually think about this I need to do this 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 and this and this and it's like well now's your time so <laughs> right I'm really grateful for that mm-hmm. Yeah, my dog. I'm, my dog is healthier than ever. <laughs> I think all our dogs. <laughs> I think all our pets are healthier and happier than ever because we are home. So they're like, "What the fuck? Like, what are you yeah. guys doing so much?" You know. Um, so yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Win. <laughs> Let go. I mean, it's just. I don't know. It's just been real. Like it's a crazy fucking time to be in right now. Like I can't even believe that we're all witnessing this. Yeah. Um, and I've always and like I've kind of always believed this whole thing of sometimes it has to take a pretty traumatic, dramatic, crazy experience for something revolutionary to come out of it. For sure. And I Which feel is- like right now like with the pandemic i mean it's it's a real test to see who is really fucking compassionate it really is like, like sorry what well i think just i don't know if you were going there but it's like i feel like with protesting and um trying to dismantle yes. systemic racism like that couldn't have happened if people yeah. didn't yeah. If they didn't have, you know, if baseball wasn't happening, you know what I mean? Like if we had all of the huge distractions, right? Keep our I lives comfortable. About, you know? like, I also think about like the people that are like protesting for the right to have their hair cut or not wearing a mask or something <laughs> like that. Like, yeah, you know, it is, it is like this whole thing. And I, you know, I feel like it's, you know, the universe telling every because it, it, it before all this, it was fucking chaos. It was everything needed to be immediate and blah, 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 blah. And everybody's overworked, etc. This is the universe saying like, yo, you guys need to slow. And nobody slow. needs to live like that. Nobody needs to live like no. that. Um, I, I, I feel very sad for the lives that have been lost because of the, the pandemic, because those were a lot of those people, you know, are, it, it, it just happened, you know? Um, but I, I feel like, like just watching everything happening, like it's just, it's really opened my eyes as to like, what, how to respond to things that um, are happening. Like, instead of being just like, I don't know. It's just, like I don't have time to care. Time. Yeah. Like a lot more time to really think and, and set. Cause like before it was like, Oh, I'm just going to share this automatically without taking the time to do the research or, mm-hmm. you know, um, you have the time to do the research. You now have the time to be able to absorb all these resources to be able to help you understand events that are happening. Right. Mm-hmm. So, um, I, I appreciate that. And, you know, and, having being able to have that being able to be continue um working <laughs> you know i'm i'm a i'm a lucky i'm a lucky bitch because <laughs> okay. not a lot of people are able to work you know um but this is also the first time people that are self-employed are now able to collect unemployment like now people are making changes to be able to start it, it's it, we still got a long road ahead of us to be able to really help everybody but we're at least it's taking something to move us towards that step, right? So um, that's just something that I've been observing, but I really, I, I feel grateful that I'm able to witness it and try and do what I can to help. Yeah. I feel like what 
we were living, everyone was living in this, like, like the world has changed within all of our lifespans um, so much. And, and there was this, like, it's almost like you have like a plate and you have on your plate, like every item from a meal that has been the same for 60 or more years. And then, and that's like the way things are. And like, like home ownership is something that everybody should try to do. And um, having one career is something that everyone should do. And being married is something that everyone should do. And it's like, those things don't make sense now but people were still keeping them on their plate and then also putting on top all this new shit where like there's the internet and there's like social media, which like as silly as it is, it's all we have, you know what I mean? And it is another dimension and it is something to reckon with and it did spoil the election. You know what I mean? Like it's real. Mm -hmm. And like, then there's also like a global economy and like, you know, that's cool in some ways, but it's also creepy and bad in other ways. And it's like, I just feel like this, massive shift that is affected everybody is like the the lights are on and everybody's able to be like okay we could change some things that have been in place for so long that we just didn't question we just added on to and therefore everyone's totally exhausted all the time because you're living life the way that people had been plus the way that everybody is now you know what i mean and it's like this was enough to stop and think about constant shopping, for example, constant dining out, um, not considering where your goods are coming from or who you're paying for things. And then commuting, like why was anyone commuting? You know, the percentage of jobs that actually require people to commute is like minuscule compared to what people were doing all over the world. You know what I mean? So that kind of like, oh wait, opened up like a tear in this fabric of imagined reality through which yeah. then we can also see like systemic racism holy shit there's yeah. tons of stuff under here you know what I mean like it's just like I feel that there is a a shift everywhere and and it that's exciting but also scary but also necessary but mm -hmm. also fucking wild you know yeah. like, <laughs> So it's yeah. like heavy, you know, like I'm sleeping a lot and it's like, why am I so tired? I didn't really do anything today except for read a lot, you know? It's <laughs> no, like, <I'm> <laughs> yeah. well, I thought be, about shit I've never thought yeah. about before all day. Yeah. So. I'll be doing yoga and I'll be yawning like crazy. Like, oh, why? And it's, it's emotional stuff. You know what I mean? It's emotional yeah. stuff that needs to come out because of it. It's a, it's a heavy time. <laughs> it's yeah. so funny. Yeah. I feel like for me, you know, I've just... I never, ever would have taken a break from work for myself in my life. Like I've been working since I was 15. I've, you know, I've worked in service. I've worked, you know, a career job and radio that I left because I was unhappy. Like, um, and even, you know, trying to like set my life up so that like 2020 was supposed to be the year that I like launched my new band and like tour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had it all planned out. Oh, um, we had so many plans. Yeah. Yeah. So many plans. I know, right? Everybody so, had plans for this year and it man. just shit. But, <laughs> no. but I mean, you know, I have been able to connect back to a lot of things that are really important to like the fabric yeah. of who I am, like yeah. just even going on my nature walks regularly or like driving to the lakefront. I haven't been to the lakefront this much ever in my entire life. Like every summer. <laughs> Looks like you're lived, there every day. <laughs> I, I'm there a lot, you know, but it's like, I used to go, even if, you know, it's a 30 minute drive, I would go maybe like, maybe six times a summer and that was a lot yeah. you know and yeah. now it's like why not like and I'm I you know I just started therapy like Ooh. I'm doing all of these things I'm eating better I'm noticing like how my body is reacting to certain things I'm noticing like just having the opportunity to stop the rat race and focus on like what fulfills me mm. what like people do I actually want to spend time with who I'm not just going to run into at a show and do two <laughs> shots with and then we forget our conversation tomorrow you know what I mean like yeah. 
really cultivating relationships with people, whether it's like a phone call or whatever, like, uh, or going out and going on a walk, you know, like Mm -hmm. all of these really intentional. It's like, oh, do I feel better as a human being outside and connecting with other humans? Like, yeah, that's how we were like designed and built over like (laughs) hundreds of thousands of years to exist. I keep getting told, oh my God, you look so healthy because I've been, you do. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, I'm not like stuck inside all the time. I'm like actually going outside and like benefiting from that. And so, um, yeah, it's, I feel like for me, I'm very, I'm obviously like, it's a tragedy and a trauma that is happening, but it's also, um, I've been able to, once that kind of initial wave passed, and I settled in, I've been able to like have a lot of like growth, you know, and I hope that for everybody, and if you're not there, that's okay. But like, you know, this is like the perfect time to really take a good hard look at what's going on with you, you know, and, and even, you know, going back to like, what's happening in the world beyond like Black Lives Matter movements, you know, because I'm not working, I've been able to um, volunteer regularly with a wonderful organization in Chicago called Chicago Birthworks. And um, they are like a mother daughter doula like team who like train other women um, how to be doulas and like create this beautiful network for black mamas and stuff. So, you know, like that's so just being able to like sort clothes and their donations, like, you know, being not spending an hour arguing with someone online, but actually like interacting with people who maybe I wouldn't in a different part of the city that I don't go to very often and like creating dialogue with them and learning. And that's important. That's where the change happens. That's where you get to, you know, I feel like grow and make those meaningful connections and even if we don't agree on every single thing, like it's important to like open yourself up to that. And I think, you know, that creates the kind of more empathetic world. That we all want to live in. That we want to live in, you know, and bring it back around that your new record really kind of takes (laughs) a dive into, right? Oh, we're taking you on a ride. I think this time everyone (laughs) reflected on this time that we've had to self-care more. Yeah. Everyone yes. has more self-care about themselves, you know? I mean, you know, because when we're when we tour, it's kind of like we're we're going at a certain pace. We don't get enough rest. We don't get enough sleep. We don't get enough probably good food in our system. We can't, we're always tired. Um, so yeah, this is nice to take this break and kind of just uh rejuvenate and like take this time to like ah you know um, take a breath yeah yeah catch up on your sleep eat mm-hmm. you know eat what you want but like you know but be you know better at the choices like you know cuz we drink you smoke that happens a lot on the road and you're eating stuff you're not supposed to and then you're feeling shitty every day you know and then that, that you're probably getting sick too and then you're not feeling good you know and that yeah. does, that doesn't help when you're when you got to perform and you got to go out there and do this every single day or night. And so yeah, so right now we we probably all feel the best we've ever felt, right? <laughs> yeah. So when we get back to touring, though, we're gonna be like, I'm hopefully more than ready. But once we get going, yeah. depending on how long it's gonna be, we're gonna be like, oh shit. <laughs> That's we're it. All- yeah. And make those just dis- mo- those decisions for our health too. Like, you yeah. know, I've always been the most gung ho about touring, you know, I've always been like, go, 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 go. But this has made me be like, there's so many things that are um, equally as important uh, here at home. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So being well and balanced and, you know, um, so you can be your best on the road is, is, you know, where I want to be when the time comes yeah, for us so to play again. Survive, survive out on the road, so. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think the new world is going to greet Bad Cop, Bad Cop with beautiful open arms and beautiful so. voices. <laughs> um, we're gonna wrap up now. I just wanna thank you guys so much for doing this. Love you, Jillian. Yeah.
Jillian, we do. <laughs> and you, you do look amazing. You look incredible. You look great. <laughs> Actually, everybody does. Thank everybody you. looks really good. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> um, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Jillian McGee. Again, if you're listening, um, I'm guest hosting Carco and Carne. Thanks to everybody who tuned in. And we will see you soon. Be kind. Bye. Be creative.